Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel Blender Stars. In this video, I'm gonna show you the 10 hacks which can make your workflow in Blender very fast. So let's get started. Okay, so at first we have use cursor menu. So the pie menu is very important and you can make your workflow very very fast with it. So the pie menu comes with shift S. So you get this kind of menu. So let's let's just explore it a little more. So for example, we have this cube and we want to make it in the center. So if our cursor is in center, so we can just simply press the shift S and click on selection to cursor and this will bring our object to the cursor. And for example, you want this object to be here. So let's just move the cursor with shift and right click like this and shift S and then again click on selection to cursor. So that's the trick. And if like your cursor is not in center and you want to be the object to be in center. So just simply press the shift S and make the cursor to the selection and make the cursor to the word origin. So this will bring our cursor to the center and now you can bring any object to the center so just press shift s and click on selection to cursor one more thing you can do is that if you want to bring this object to exactly in at this object so you can just simply select this object and press shift s so first we have to bring the cursor to the selected object so i will click on cursor to the selected so our cursor has been moved now we can move any object to this place so just press shift s and click on selection to the cursor so that's the trick okay so at second number we have applying all modifiers with just one click so for example i have this character and as you can see at every single object i have applied the subdivision modifier and as you can see at some of my object there is also a mirror modifier so applying all of these modifier one by one like this takes a lot of time because these are a lot of objects so to save the time we have to just select all and right click and convert it to mesh if you don't get this uh, this options here you can easily do it like this click on the object and convert convert it to mesh and as you can see if i now click on every single object the modifier has been applied at number three we have applying the same data to all of the objects or many different objects so for example i have this cube and i apply a simple mirror modifier and a subdivision modifier and make it to level two and give it a color red and just click on the viewport shading to just preview it so as you can see it's looking like this so now i need is i need to apply all the modifiers uh, that has been added to this object to the all of the other objects so for that i have to just select this one and then select all so as you can see all of our object has been selected but this object is on focus as you can see the outline is a kind of like orange and this outline is more like reddish so it means this object is active now so from active object we can copy all the modifiers so for that we have to click on uh, press the control l so you will get this menu so here you can uh, do all of the stuff you want so i will click on copy modifiers so you can apply you can copy any data from any object so here i will click on copy modifiers and as you can see all of my object is now having the subdivision and the mirror modifier so that's like pretty much cool now one more thing that i need to do is i need to add this red color to all of my object by just one single click so I have to select all so as you can see again this object is active which is uh, with, that's what I need so I have to click on control L and then I have to click on link material so now we have to we are just moving the material data to all of the object and there are a lot of many objects so you can explore that you can also copy UV from the same object if like your object is same the vertex position and everything is same and the object is just a copy of another object and if you just UV unwrap the one object so you can copy that so again the, the thing is simple that you have to con uh, click on control L and then click on copy UV map so that's pretty much useful okay the next thing we can do is we can also uh, copy this shared smooth option so as you can see I add this one so as you can see I add the shared smooth to this object and I need that same effect to all of the objects so I have to just select all and then control L and then copy object data link so that's the trick you can also use all of these options so explore that 
So before continuing the video, I have a humble request for you guys that 90% of the audience watch the video but don't subscribe to my channel. So please subscribe for appreciating and supporting this channel. Thank you and continue to the video. Okay, so at number 4 we have use the pie menu. So that's the most uh, beautiful thing in Blender. There is a pie menu which you can use. So if you click on the edit and preference and then go to the add-on and search for an add-on named as pie menu. So as you can see here is this option you can just enable that and it will give you all of the option but uh, most of them that i don't use i just use a few of these options so it's just like adding a uh, pie menu to every uh, single feature so which we don't need so we have to just uncheck that all and just click on z so we need this one then come off at the top and we know this uh, we need this thing to the x which is the delete one and now click on the key map and just enable the tab for pie menu and also extra sharing pie menu items so just click on that and let's save it and now let's see what we get so if we click on if you want to go to the edit mode we can just click on tab and here we get all of these options so we can click on object mode edit mode sculpt mode texture pen and all of these modes so that's pretty much easy like uh, that's really quick if you want to go to the edit mode so just click tab and go to the right so that's like too, too quick so if we uh, I click on tab and then go to the left side we get the object mode if I go to the downside we get the sculpt mode and also you can use these trees like these trees are most important so I can just quickly go to the sculpt mode edit mode and object mode same it is at uh, the x1 so if you just want to delete something or dissolve something for example i have to dissolve this edge so i can click on x and we get this pie menu so at down we have to dissolve edges uh, dissolve vertex dissolve faces and at top threes we have to delete the things so that's pretty much easy like uh, that's too quick if you want to just just dissolve this so i have to uh, press x and then go down so you can just easily and really quick delete that or dissolve that and also at the third we get the uh, sharing menu so if we click on uh, if we keep press the Z so we get this menu and from here we can switch on to the wireframe solid and also to the material preview which is the viewport sharing so you, yeah you can switch between these two So at number 5 we have the using the node regular add-on so it's an add-on which make the sharing and doing working with the nodes make very easy so click on the edit and preference and click on the add-ons and search for node and you will get this one node regular so just check this one and click on save and now if we click on our principal shader and control t so it will add the texture node with the mapping node so that's pretty much easy and now we can just open any texture that we want one another feature is that if we export the texture from the substance painter and we want to uh, make all of the nodes set up in just one click so we can do that so for example i have this character i will click on the principal shader and then control shift t and i will go to the textures that i need so i have this texture i will just select that and click on principal texture setup and now it will set up all of the textures at just one click so we don't need to set up the mapping nodes the normal map and all of the stuff so the, the node regular add-on is having a lot of features which make make your workflow very easy so you can watch a detailed video for this so at next we have the loop tool add-on so for that we have to just enable go to the preference and enable the loop tool add-on so i will just search for loop and you get this option so just check it and save it from here and now we you get many new options so if we get to the edit mode and right click so as you can see we get this menu loop tool and here you can see a lot of these options so first of all the most important and useful feature is that if we select any of these areas like this so we can make this circle so if we just delete this one delete faces and now select all of the loops around this and 
click on right click make loops and go to the circle so as you can see it convert this loop into a circle which you can then again extrude that and as you can see we get a cylindrical geometry so you can use this for creating holes so at next we have the bool tool so as you know as we know that uh, boolean operation with the modifiers and adding it manually is a bit hard and a little long process so for this we have an add-on which is the blender default add-on so we can just search for bool and check this option and then make it save preference and now if we select these two objects and press n so here at edit we get the bool menu so you can do all the operation with just single click so we don't need to do it with the boolean modifier and doing a long process so as you can see uh, here i want to combine these objects so i will just select these tools and click on union and as you can see it's now one object same it is if you want to subtract or difference these objects so i will just select these tools and click on difference and now as you can see we cut these things like this so these things make the boolean operation very easy you can use all of these options so at number eight we have the favorite menu so it's also one of my favorite feature in blender so these tools so this is a feature where you can add anything to your favorite menu so if we click on favorite uh, if we click on if we press the Q key we get the favorite menu quick favorites and uh, by default you will get nothing because I already add this these objects uh, these features so at first like I mostly use the wireframe this options so it's like uh, here go to the overlay and I bring this object to my favorite menu so I just click on right click on this and click on add to favorite and now if we click here on Q we can add this thing you can add modifiers to it you can add any of the options that you want and bring in and you can bring it to the favorite menu so by just uh, clicking or uh, pressing the Q key we can get all of these options for example here I add uh, and array modifier so i will click right click on array modifier and add it to the quick axis so every time when i click on q we get this menu and here as you can see array modifier has been added so i can click on that and i can just increase that so many mainly i use are the uh, mirror modifier and the solidify and these type of modifiers so as you can see i added the subdivision modifier so as you can see it's pretty much easy i can add a mirror modifier i can just make a copy and I here I can again add the array modifier and any modifier and as you can see you can add any objects uh, any options that you want uh, mostly we can use this one face orientation so I will just click right click on this one and add it to the uh, quick favorites so like with this option you can as you know that we can see the face orientation so it's very useful by going to here it's just a little hard and these things make it very easy okay so at number nine we have the smoothing topology so for example if you have a character or an object which is having a topology like this so if you want to relax our topology so we can use that it's actually not a trick it's just uh, a tool we can use it for like smoothing the topology so all I need to do is to go to the sculpt mode but before that I want to uh, in object mode I want to turn on the wireframe so I will just click on the wireframe or you can enable it from here wireframe so this will help you to see uh, our topology in the sculpt mode so that we can see that uh, it's working or not so all we need to do is to click on the smooth brush and just decrease our strength up to like 1.63 or at a lower and now uh, at bracket keys we can just uh, increase the size of our brush or you can change the radius from here so I will keep like this uh, radius and now clicking on shift keep pressing the shift and by clicking on the left click you can actually smooth your topology so this will also make your uh, mesh also the shape a little smooth So at number 10 we have the auto mirror 
so for this we can use an add-on so you can go to the preference and search for auto mirror so it it's an add-on which can help you to make your object mirror with just one click so for example if we uh, want to make this object mirror we have to delete all of the half first and then we have to add the modifier but there is uh, this add-on make this uh, this process into just one click so all you need to do is to click on edit and here you will get this menu auto mirror and you have to just choose the direction for example here i want the x direction and i can just click on the auto mirror and it will convert uh, it will delete the half of the object and add a mirror modifier by clipping so that's pretty much useful uh, hope you guys like the video and enjoyed it and learned a lot from this video so if you did just uh, like this video and share it with your friends and subscribe for more videos for now bye